Hey folks, it's Spencer. We've made it to Wednesday. Really good. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. And I don't know why I always feel like I have to announce the, the day of the week. It just feels right. Actually, I think I, I announce it because sometimes I don't know what day of the week it is, so it makes me look it up and it forces me to remember what day of the week it is. When you travel so much, it can be hard to remember A, where you are, and B, what day it is. Anyway, that was a completely tangent that my brain just went on. It was like in the olden days when you had CD shuffle, you put your CDs in your CD player, you could put multiple, and then you'd push shuffle and then the old thing would come out. Same with your iPod. Anyway, that's what just happened with my brain. However, today was a pretty awesome day, and I wanted to share a little bit about a keynote that I did today, where it was, the keynote itself, and how those two things were so amazing. So first, let me say that today was filling in for my friend Hannah Alper, who I met years ago when she was a little bit younger than she is now. She's still young. But uh, she interviewed me backstage at We Day. We became friends. And then uh, we went on the We Create Change Tour, myself, Hannah, and the band Neverest. And we drove in a tour bus across Canada to thank all Canadians for the work that they were doing to make the local and global community better. And she was scheduled to have a speech today, but she got this incredible invitation which if you follow her on social media, you'll, you'll know what it is. She was um, invited to attend Malala Yousaf's honorary Canadian, Canadian citizenship uh, ceremony. Speaking of which, when do I get one? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So I was filling in for her today and they did a speech at a place called Camp Trillium, which is in Waterford, Ontario. So this is the venue. Let me tell you what the venue is. Camp Trillium is a camp for kids that have cancer. It's a completely free camp. It's free for these incredible kids and their families. It runs just like a regular camp. They've got a beautiful lake. So there's like water sports, there's archery and all the things. And it's a place for kids to come. Not only that, but they also have medical staff there all summer to help deal with, because some kids are still going through treatment and need specific medical care while they're there. So number one, I was super inspired that this camp exists and also that it's free, a place for kids to go. So today's speech was for Grand Erie District School Board and they rented Tramp Killiam, oh geez, Tramp Killiam, oh my gosh. They rented camp, I'm so excited to tell you about this, I can't get the words out. Let's try it again. So the Grand Erie District School Board rented Camp Trillium for the day because they don't run all year. So they, they rent out their, their space, so then a lot of that money will go towards these incredible kids that get to come for free. Now Grand Erie District School Board was doing an environmental conference for elementary school kids. I believe it was age nine to 13. And they were, they were having a keynote in the morning, which is me, and then in the afternoon they were doing some workshops with some local environmental folks to help them come up with ways potentially to take action and help the environment. Now, I did the speech, I worked in some environmental pieces, why we climbed Kilimanjaro. And for those that don't know, East Africa got hit with a really large drought in 20, the summer of 2011. And we originally, for Kilimanjaro, wanted to raise money for education. However, when the drought hit, drought literally affects everything. So meaning, because there's a drought, that also means there's no rain, which means these communities that are subsistence farmers can no longer make a profit. That's their livelihood is growing crops. So we decided to fundraise for clean water. Any, anyway, all of that aside, that's what I talked about today and how I learned about the environment that way and how I could give back. But the other piece that I wanted to tell you about today that I was super inspired by is that after the speech, this young boy, and I don't know how old he was, I, I think he was on the younger side, probably nine or 10. He came up to me and he tried to hand me a $5 bill. He said, here, I wanna help. I was taken back, so I politely thanked him and said how nice that was and told him to keep his $5 because they were there to talk about the environment today and to find a way that he could use that $5 to help the environment. I wanted to share that today because it, it genuinely touched my heart. And I think I live in a bubble working at WE where we get to work with incredible youth all the time and so sometimes I forget that every now and then the world out there thinks that youth are apathetic or that youth don't care or that they're too young. 
There's a lot of folks who are like, oh, our kids are in elementary school, so like, I don't really think they'll get it. I don't think this work is for us. It's not true. He completely got it. And he wanted to help. And in that moment, I can only assume, he thought, well, I have this $5. This is where I'll start. And that was really powerful. To, and I feel really humbled to have, have witnessed that. And he politely took his $5 back and sort of went on his way. But I think it just goes to show you that we all have the ability to make a difference. And it's cheesy. And although I say it all the time, I genuinely believe it. So I had inspiration overload today. It was amazing. I would love to hear if you want to comment below uh, some of the things maybe that you experienced today that were super inspirational for you. As always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. <laughs>